I'm Graham Norton and I do the commentary for the BBC at Eurovision. This is the commentary booth. Be excited. Check this out. I've arrived. <laughs> this is it. It's, uh, it's really quite snug. Basically, we have lots of paper with information. There's never enough room, so you're always like, just at the moment when you need to remember the name of the Israeli singer, you cannot find that bit of paper. But they're all in here. Uh, I wear these when I'm doing it, and there's a little button here I press when I want to be on air, and a button that I press when I don't want to be on air, and God forbid I confuse those buttons or I'll be sacked. Uh, probably on the night, we're in here for about four hours. Uh, I drink too much coffee, that's in here. There's water. Uh, they do, there are usually a few bags of sweets, so I don't really bother with them. And uh, and God forbid you, you need to relieve yourself in any way because that is not happening. Uh, yeah, so it's it's camel time. This is what you'll be seeing on telly is on the screen. But then you've got the atmosphere of the arena. And I think there'll be about 16,000 people in here. It, because it's really steep, the stage is very close to everybody in this arena. It's a great arena, the Globe Arena. Um, uh, someone told me yesterday there were 90 million pixels in that stage. There, write that down and remember, remember it. I'll be telling you on telly as well. I don't prepare, I don't have a script for the commentary, but what I do is I'll sit in here and watch the three dress rehearsals. Um, because things change and, and so, you know, you don't, on the night, if you have a, a joke about somebody wearing a yellow dress and then they come out in a red dress, you look stupid. So you, you try to be as on top of it uh, as possible and just know what's coming next. But uh, the fun of it is that you can't script something that's so long. You've just got to, it's like being on the radio, but it's the telly. You just ramble on for a very long time. We have our own love affair with Eurovision, and every country can approach it in its own way. I think, you know, this year we're sending a really credible act. Those boys are great. It's a really credible pop song. So, you know, if we then gently, <laughs> gently uh, take the mick out of some of the other elements in it, I think we're allowed. I mean, this, and that's the thing, when I'm commentating, I'm commentating to the UK. The other countries only know that I've said something if some stupid UK journalist rings them and goes, would you be upset if somebody said your country? I was like, yes, I would if I'd heard it, but you didn't hear it. I'm talking to the UK. Uh, all right, well, dress rehearsal's about to start, so uh, I better uh, get my headphones on.